Today we are going to paint our clay Aztec sun. We are going to be using temper cakes, which we have used before. You will have the primary and secondary colors and intermediate colors as well. And I want you to choose just a few colors. I don't want you to use a ton of colors, but I'm going to choose maybe three to four different colors. I'm going to start with orange. Now your sun does not have to be the colors of the sun. But I'm going to make sure I'm getting lots and lots of paint. I am going to paint the edges. Notice how I am taking my time, trying my best. I think I'm going to continue that pattern. And I'm going to do another orange ray over here. Okay, notice how it's nice and dark. The paint is nice and dark and that is because I'm using plenty of paint. And this ray over here, the same orange color. Getting all those white spots, you should not see any white clay when you're done. Then, just like you would with a watercolor, I'm going to rinse my brush with water. And I'm going to go ahead for my next color. I think I'm going to go ahead and do pink. I'm going to make sure I have plenty of paint. I think I'm going to paint these rays with pink. Again, notice how I'm going nice and slow, taking my time. I am painting the edges. I am not painting the back, first graders. No one's going to see the back. And we want to make sure you can see your name, so we will not paint the back. I'm going to continue painting until the entire sun is full. So I have two colors, I can do a couple more. I think I will maybe do green for the eyes and the mouth. Again, using plenty of paint. So that's nice and dark. And then I think I'm gonna do a final color. I think that I will do yellow in the background. Now again, these are not the colors of the sun. These are bright colors. You can choose between three to four different colors. Make sure you're coloring so that you cannot see any white clay underneath. I don't want to forget the edges where there's not. Now sometimes when you have dots, like I have dots as texture, you may not be able to get in there and that's okay. Try your best, but if you can't like these dots, I can kind of try and get in there a little bit, but if you can't get in there completely, that's okay. Again, you're going to paint the entire thing and on the edges until you can't see any white.